Police in Port St. Lucie arrest two members of the same family. The two are both accused of attempted murder. The separate incidents both taking place this month. First, police arrested Joshua Hironis in Connecticut over the weekend. He's accused of shooting two people at the Vibes Lounge in Port St. Lucie on August 16th. The victims were treated at a nearby hospital and later released. Then just days later, his father was arrested in a separate case involving a potential workplace shooting in tradition. As Angela Rozier learned, that armed man was later arrested at a fast food restaurant. Well, the police chief here in Port St. Lucie says this case could have ended differently. He credits good detective work and the employee who saw something and said something. How are you doing today, sir? This is body camera video of suspect Michael Ronis being questioned by Port St. Lucie police. What's going on with with why you went back over there? They were kind of concerned. Investigators say Ronis walked into the Tamco, which is an electronic company in tradition, and where he was fired in July. They say he was armed with a 9 millimeter handgun while looking for his former boss and two other employees. He informed the officer that he was going there to kill a bunch of people that ruined his life but couldn't go through with it. We're told the people he was looking for were not there. An employee alerted police, Ronis left, and he was arrested at a nearby Burger King minutes later. And you have a firearm on you to do that? Yeah, it's in my pocket. All right. You want it? I'll get it in a second, but scooch out and don't yeah. put your hands in your pocket. <coughs> put your hands on the glass, on the glass. Police say Michael's life had been basically crumbling. He was evicted from his home, living in a hotel, had no access to a car, and his son was in jail in Connecticut. They admit this could have ended poorly. He was found to be with a traveling urn in his pocket that had the ashes of his mother and father. You know, I think a reasonable and, you know, that he wanted to end his own life following this incident. We reached out to that company for a response, and they issued a statement that in part reads, this was a scary and shocking situation. We are grateful that no one was hurt and want to express our appreciation to the police officer and the detectives who arrived quickly on site. And officials say both men still remain behind bars. In Port St. Lucie, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News.